Right now at noon, breaking new developments in a case that shocked a small community in northeast Georgia. A standout football star in Jackson County shot to death while visiting Gwinnett County during his fall break. Police now tell us they've arrested two teens in the case. Thanks for joining us for Atlanta News First at noon. I'm Rob Hughes and I'm Lana Harris in for Gouvier. Now the arrests come as police released the 911 calls that reveal the really frantic moments yeah. after this shooting happened. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is live at Jefferson High School. That's where the victim Elijah DeWitt was well known as a student athlete. Rebecca, people in that community are really having a hard time processing the fact that Elijah was murdered. Oh, absolutely, Lana and Rob. Hello to you. The campus is quiet here in Jefferson with those students on fall break, many of them no doubt clinging to their loved ones right now. Within the last couple of hours, we received those 911 calls uh, from the night of the murder. And just a warning here, some of it is disturbing. Hey, we, we, need, we, need, we need someone here at Dave and Buster's in Sugar Little Bill. Someone just got shot. People walking out of the Dave and Buster's came upon a horrific scene Wednesday night. People screaming as a young man lay in the parking lot bleeding after someone shot him. Another caller was pretty sure she saw the shooter. Because I was about to park and he literally like crossed my path. I almost ran him over. Once she parked, she heard gunshots and saw the same guy running across the parking lot. I saw him run across with the gun. Meanwhile, another dispatcher tried to talk a Dave and Buster's manager through giving the victim CPR. I'm going to count. You count with me, okay? Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Elijah DeWitt, a senior star football player at Jefferson High School in Jackson County, had been on fall break. According to police, he was with three friends Wednesday night when someone shot him in the parking lot of Sugarloaf Mills. Arrested in connection with the case, 18-year-old Kimari Bryan from Lawrenceville, a recent graduate of Collins Hill High School, according to Gwinnett County Police, and 19-year-old Chandler Richardson, also of Lawrenceville. They're being held in Anderson County, South Carolina, where they were taken into custody. And authorities there tell us they have an extradition hearing at 4 o'clock this afternoon, so they could be sent back to Gwinnett County to the jail there very soon. I spoke off camera with the parents of the victim. They are amazingly strong. They tell me they're overwhelmed by the support they're getting from the Jefferson High School community. They tell me they feel blessed to have been Elijah's parents. Live in Jefferson, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First. Wow, they are strong. Rebecca, I certainly feel for those parents and that entire community. Thank you for the update.